next do we have a special episode for you today. It is so exciting. Guys, are you guys excited? Heck yeah! <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, cut to the animated intro there. We got contacted by a film crew, network, TV network. They wanted to do an interview on us, the shop, the garage, the 49 Ford, and the story behind it. And so that's what we're doing today. And we're gonna go ahead and bring you guys along, kind of behind the scenes. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys like what we're putting out, make sure you give us a thumbs up, leave a comment, and hit that there so that YouTube will push these videos out for other people like you guys who love this content. All right, let's get rolling. Pulling into Suarita, Arizona. Pop open the door of that bus, and there's John standing outside, just full of smiles, grins ear to ear. Charlie and I step off the bus, we greet each other, and you know, we kind of been waiting for this one. So I'm like, brother, John, you've got something here we're ready to see. Can you lead the way? Can you lead the way? Walk past a lineup of vehicles through a garden gate into a backyard that I'm seeing a shop building there in front of us. He opens the door and it hits me. Brothers and sisters, we have gathered here today for one reason, to witness the mashup of a 49 Ford and a 335 i BMW into a, a homage of motorized magnificence and faith, given the name a born again, can I get an amen now? Amen! Hallelujah! The first thing that catches my eyes are the metal, the magnificence of the metal. I just love raw metal. I mean, there's a lot to love about the finish on a lot of different kinds of builds and vehicles, but there's just something about raw metal that just pulls my eye and my heart. I don't know. Maybe it's just thinking back to my younger years there on the farm where, you know, it was just all about taking whatever kind of raw metal you could get your hands on, whatever was left over or was a, a broken part from something else and, and taking it and, and building something anew. Lo and behold, that was the concept behind Born Again. Got to step around here and, and see what's inside this vehicle. What's inside the vehicle? You open up the door, you see, oh, there's a roll cage, okay. Safety first. Got a couple racer seats in it. Yeah, continue with that safety first. Um, four point hitches on the seat belts. So it starts out, you know, John's gonna hop in there and drive, and, and I'm gonna get to ride along, kind of see what this, this uh, magnificent vehicle's capable of doing. It. So we start you know, tooling out of the parking lot, heading down the street. Maybe he would let Big Kenny and Charlie get in and take it for a ride. And lo and behold, John was kind enough to turn over the ignition switch to a couple of fellas, a couple crank it up sort of fellas like us. Woo, Lordy, help us. Got Big Kenny driving, Charlie in the passenger seat. Woo! Crazy. What a ride. That's awesome. Wow. I need it for a weekend at least. Well, Second Chances and Faith Maniac's Garage has resurrected a Ford Motor Company classic by merging it with German technology of BMW and creating a one-of-a-kind cyborg. Sitting behind that wheel, first of all, I even said to Kenny when I got in there, that steer wheel felt so good and that car felt so solid, I just got on it to see what it can do. Let me tell you something, no doubt it did. So sometimes you gotta see me and Big Kenny having a competition, but when we get to ride side by side, 
Let me tell you, that's the coolest moments right here on Crank It Up TV. So the afternoon was fulfilled. Me and Big Kenny got to drive born again. And let me tell you something, it was an experience that I will never forget. And the hospitality that the guys showed us today was bar none. I just want to say thanks to the guys at Maniacs Garage. And thank you to everybody that's watching. It's Charlie P with Big Kenny's Crank It Up Garage TV. Yeah, yeah. 